We're going to start with our straight suction nozzle system. It's very simple to use, designed for hard surfaces, low pile carpeting with a minimal amount of traffic. This system cleans with air movement. The bristles come out when you do all your hard surfaces and then they get inverted when you go over to your low pile carpeting. And remember, this is just cleaning with air movement, otherwise known as pure suction. Let me show you how it works. I'll start on the hard surfaces. As you can see, I'll hit the foot switch and the bristles will come out to protect any of the surfaces I'm vacuuming. And then, as I go over to our commercial grade carpet, I simply hit the switch again, the bristles get inverted, and I can glide over either a commercial grade carpet or a traditional low pile carpet. And because this system is cleaning with just suction, it's the most gentle way to clean, making it perfect for any of those expensive, delicate carpets you may have in your home. Today with Protein, we're going to learn how to properly wear a backpack vacuum. Prior to operating a Protein backpack vacuum, it is important that the product is properly fit to the operator. Protein backpack vacuums have adjustable upper and lower back plates for proper fitting depending upon torso length. Adjust the back plates to ensure contact points are being made. Loosen the shoulder straps and waist belt in an open area. Insert the hose into the top of the vacuum. Insert the tools into the convenient waist belt holders. Lift the vacuum by one shoulder strap and slide your free arm into the opposite shoulder strap. Now we need to make the necessary fit adjustments on the following contact points. First, fasten and tighten the waist belt. Make sure the vacuum back plate, 
which distributes 90% of the backing weight, rests upon your hips rather than your shoulders to ensure maximum ergonomic comfort. Next, adjust the shoulder straps so that the unit fits comfortably. Take caution not to over tighten these straps. Last, fasten and adjust the sternum strap. Slide the buckle up or down for best fit and user comfort. It is critical that the unit's two primary points of contact are at the base of your spine, just above the hips and between your shoulder blades and the upper back area. To know if you have your protein backpack on correctly, you should see a space between the shoulder strap and your shoulders. Your vacuum has now been fit for operation. Now that the product adjustments have been made, Connect the power supply cord to the extension cord in a manner that minimizes wear on the cord and allows for safe operation. Thread the extension cord up through the loop system on the Schultz cord holder on the waist belt. The telescoping wand is shipped in two pieces. To put the wand together, untwist the cuff from the end of the wand and slide the cuff onto other wand half. Insert the wand end by aligning the notch and groove. To do this, find the notch on the inside of the wand nut and the groove on the outside of the wand. They must align. Slide down the cuff and twist the wand nut to tighten it into position. To adjust the wand height, simply loosen the cuff and adjust the wand to the ideal height for each operator. Tighten the cuff to lock into place. When attaching the floor tool, be sure that the brass ring is intact with the threaded nut on the end of the wand. Then attach the floor tool by aligning the brass ring with the groove on the floor tool to ensure a secure fit. Twist the wand into the end of the hose. Plug the extension cord into the power outlet. The on-off switch is conveniently located on the waist belt. Turn the unit on and proceed with vacuuming. With just a few parts and no tools required, your Shark Navigator Liftaway Professional is so easy to assemble. First, take your portable Liftaway canister. Go ahead and line up the back of the unit with the back of the motorized floor brush and push down until you hear it click into place. Next, take your extension wand. These two wings on the back align with the back of the canister. Go ahead and line those up, push down until it clicks into place. Next, take your accessory holder. Your accessory holder has a groove on the back of this that lines up with a tab on the back of the extension wand. Go ahead and push that down all the way. Next, take your handle with stretch hose. Go ahead and put that handle over the top of your extension wand Push down again until you hear it click into place. Go ahead and take your stretch hose, attach it to the back of the canister, lining up those tabs into the grooves. Next, go ahead and attach your accessories. Take your dusting brush, push that onto the top of the post. Take your crevice tool, go ahead and push up on the bottom post. Now you're all set. Plug in and you're ready to start vacuuming.